gathered in the shadow of Metro Airport tonight to remember Northwest Airlines Flight 255 30 years later. 156 lives were lost when the flight to Phoenix crashed right after takeoff on this night back in 1987. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live in Romulus tonight with more on the memorial there. Kim? Yes, I'm live in front of the monument that was put up to make sure these people are not forgotten. And I was looking at this monument and so many people shared the last name, shared a last name. They were families, entire families were gone in a matter of moments as 156 people either on that plane or in the path of that plane lost their lives. There was only one survivor on board, a four year old little girl. It was August 16th, 1987. Northwest Flight 255 took off from Detroit Metro. Moments later, it stalled, hit the roof of a rental car company, then crashed into a bridge over Middle Belt Road and onto I-94. 156 people lost their lives. Tonight, their loved ones gathered at 846, the time of the crash, to remember together. I would say, and I know I'm her mother, but she had a heart of gold. It's something that is this beautiful group of people who cherish life and come together every year to support each other and to remember their family members and friends who passed away. I spoke to two of the first on the scene, a firefighter and a paramedic who helped the lone survivor, a four-year-old little girl. There's a chair upside down and we pick up the chair and we moved it to the side and the arm was coming out. If you have any faith, I do believe somebody bigger than myself knew that I needed something to do that night, that I needed not to not feel helpless. That little girl's name is Cecilia, and while she was the lone survivor on the plane, she is not the only one who has lived with survivor's guilt. My parents and I and my brother had tickets to be on the flight. Jen Dumichel says her family changed flights at the last moment. She came tonight because these lives lost have shaped hers. You know, my name's supposed to be up there. My family and I are supposed to be up there. Um, it just reminds me that life is short. You know, don't take anything for granted. You know, it's gone in a second. As this monument says of the people who lost their lives, their spirit lives on not only in the hearts of those who loved them, but in the minds and hearts of the people who have learned that lesson to never take life for granted. As for the little girl who survived that flight, she lives out of state, but she is doing well. The paramedics and the firefighters I spoke to who helped her, they still keep in contact with her, checking in every once in a while. Reporting live in Romulus, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Wow, certainly a message that we should all remember from that tragic accident so many years ago. Kim Russell, thank you for the live report tonight.